Now, I know what you're thinking. Ollie, nobody asked you. That's okay. Sometimes I'm just going to tell you what you probably are looking to find out anyway. In this video, we're actually going to go over a webcam that I bought in terms of upgrading my viewing experience. Um, so take a look. How's it going, YouTube? So today we are unboxing our AngeTube uh, C967 Pro with HFR 60 frames per second at 1080p and HDR autofocus wide dynamic range, wide angle large capture, automatic low light, white balance, background replacement, you name it. Um, it has two microphones on the front, which will pretty much work on any computer as we try to open this baby one handed. Boom. Nice to see it. Love to see it. We got a warranty card inside. Love to see it. 18 months of coverage from data purchase. Um, and you can see here, I love that it's a long USB cable. I hate those short cables that I got on my old camera. Um, you can see here, 967 Pro matches the box. Love to see it. Um, and we have the lighting and the frames and ratings on the front there. With uh, textured gripping on the side with the uh, quarter inch mount on the bottom. Here we have the camera cover so that you can therefore have a privacy screen. No need for tacky tape. Voila, there it goes. And you see on the back, this is how you manually toggle the zoom as well as enable or disable HDR. And here we got some rubber grips here where my thumb is rubbing and as well as right there underneath the tape. And of course, a nice handy USB-A to C converter. Now you see here on the Logitech C6 one five is what we're replacing with the Ange tube c967 um and you can see it is with the hdr enabled with is how you get 30 frames per second now if you don't want 30 frames per second you will have to disable hdr now what issue i have here as you can see whenever i try to manually adjust the exposure it gets extremely dark but for some reason at the top of the screen which will you'll see a circle right there that part of the image is still adjusting to the exposure but for some reason the rest of the image once we get below negative three or two it blacks out the rest of the screen which is kind of weird um, but you can see the autofocus kind of like bugging out whenever we play with the exposure as it's trying to like you know detect us and figure out what it's looking at um, and one of the major reasons why we got this camera is the logitech c615 um, has a little bit of a color um, issue um, but you can see here, at least this, the Ange tube has a great zoom in capability, um, zooms in very well. The image doesn't distort, looks pretty fucking good if you ask me. Um, and then we're going to just turn off the HDR and see what we can do with the HFR 1080p at 60 frames per second. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope it, you find this information useful. Um, and if you think I'm a cool guy or whatever the case is, you know, drop a sub or come, come over to Twitch where I stream occasionally, usually Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and any other time that I feel like I'm unemployed. So here we are, 60 frames per second enabled. As you can see, the, the image doesn't blur. It looks pretty good, honestly. Um, not bad for 50 bucks. Um, but keep in mind, the HDR must be turned off if you want the 60 frames per second. Um, I believe there are a few webcams out there if you got the money to spend and if that's a big deal for you. But even so, with that HDR turned off, I don't know if you guys ha have noticed in the background, the lighting is pretty decent in terms of handling that, bl that uh, blooming effect from the light from outside as we're filming in day daytime. Um, you could kind of make out the, the windows better. And as you can see here, as I lean in on the both camera, the Logitech has a harder time handling the lighting from the monitor as well as the daylight. And it just kind of creates this glowing and exposure all over my skin. Whereas the Ange tube does a better job at handling the extra lighting and kind of giving us an even cast and handling that extra lighting against us, giving us a pretty good image if you ask me. You can see we're just kind of playing with the lighting from the monitor again, showcasing that which I'm speaking of. Now me, I do a lot of filming at night when I stream, especially. Um, so the capability of nighttime was very important. As you can see, we're going to turn on the light in a second and take a look at how the image adjusts 
to the lighting. And in a way, I actually look a lot better in terms of like my movement. You see, it seems a lot more fluid now with the extra lighting, even though, of course, it's overexposed. Um, but that's something to note that your lighting is always going to be a huge factor in the experience you get with your webcam. I don't think anyone who reviews these things better than me, of course, they always say that. And it's so, so true. Um, here you can still see the exposure adjustment still kind of weird gets very dark um, I have a hard time bringing the lighting up but you know just messing around with my lighting to see what we can do to kind of fix the image in that sense now at this point I notice hey that light isn't blue but why does it look blue and then I realize oh that's a good telltale for me to adjust the hue here and allowing me to you know, eyeball it and realize like this is closer to the image that I'm looking for, which is actually a lot better than my Logitech in my opinion, um, allowing me to really get a, a feel for the camera and actually realize like, oh, this was a good buy. We're not, I'm not mad about this at all. Much better. I don't know what you guys think. You let me know down below. Does this look better than what we saw before? All right, so one more time, we're gonna use AngeTube just to give you another taste of the mic capability. Um, you can see here, we're checking out the lighting of the AngeTube camera itself. And you can see this is the third level, so it has three levels of brightness. You can see how it blows out the screen a lot. Um, and this is with using a side light on the side, no lightness, brightness right now. Now one toggle and we're gonna, we're gonna blunder. Um, and that's the second right now. It's very bright, of course, my external light source. You know, one click is better than two, not too bright. But the point I'm trying to make here is that even though this thing has a light on it, you will always have a better experience with an external light source to make sure you get that even cast. But of course, if this is not really a big deal for you, then maybe the local light will do the job. And that will do it, everybody. Thank you again for watching this video. If you found it helpful, drop a like, um, share it with anyone you think needs to buy a budget camera. Um, but if you're frugal like I am, this might be a good middle ground, honestly. Um, you'll also find the links to the product in the description below. Um, but you know, take that with a grain of salt, do your own research. Um, hopefully, again, this helps you in your search. And yeah, drop a like if you found this helpful. Um, come find me on Twitch, Alibaba. Peace. What streaming device should I review next? Or what should I buy next? Let me know down below.